Hello. It's afternoon. <laughs> I didn't do anything this morning. I fell asleep early and I woke up early and um, I went shopping with my mum. Then I helped clean the kitchen a bit, a tiny bit. Then I fell asleep on the sofa till now. As you can notice, I've got some makeup on. Still look like death always. We're going to the play centre because my mate Gemma has um, has asked me what to take the girls to play centre, and I thought, you know, they can't always stay in the house because I suffer, you know, and I am suffering really bad at the moment. I've uh, any men that complain about this now don't give a fuck. It's my cancer journey, and this is what happens. But I've come on my period yesterday. Oh my god. Ouch. It hurts so bad. I'm in a lot of pain with it. To the point where my back feels like I've just constantly got a knife in it. So I've taken my pain relief and I thought if I take the girls to the place and it'll tire all of them out. Tire me out just getting out the house. But yeah. I was uh, up quite early this morning with Esme. She, uh, she had a bit of a dodgy tummy as well. She was in the toilet crying. Okay. Do you know what? Stuff like this disgusts me. Just dog shit left on the street. Fuck's sake. Pick up your dog shit, people. Do you have any realisation what happens if it lands in little children's hands and they put it all over their face? inconsiderate twats who don't pick up your dog shit it's disgusting two seconds on a bag anyway i'm going to the place center now i'm gonna have myself a super duper deluxe type hot chocolate so i think i deserve it and uh, i'm gonna have myself something to eat and then uh, I'm uh, gonna have a nice relaxing night tonight. I haven't a clue. I want to watch that um, that Get Out. Looks quite good. It reminds me very much of uh, the movie Skeleton Key. So I'm gonna give that a watch, I think. Or if Elheim is still streaming, we'll watch that. Daryl's been watching you most of the morning, Elheim. Hi, uh, you're quite good. Your conversations sometimes make me howl with laughter. So uh, yeah, keep on doing stuff like that. It's funny and it makes me laugh. Anyway, I'll get back to you guys later. Enjoy the rest of your day. Hello. Having a bit of a emotional meltdown at the moment. I don't know why. It's probably hormones ever. I'm not feeling too good emotionally this evening. I guess there's only so long you can um, put on. happy mask before it starts eating away at you and today has just been such a struggle to keep a smile on my face and I've taken myself up the house and um, I've tried to keep myself happy and smiling but for some reason today it's just so difficult Do you know I said there'd be up days and there'd be down days? I'm feeling so emotionally drained, it's so real. And I feel so lonely. House full of people and I feel so lonely. I know I shouldn't be. I know I should be happy and smiling and 
So that it just scares me to be like that. I think reality has set in after speaking to the doctor the other day and all them scary words and everything have started to finally hit. This is the hardest block I'm probably doing up to date, but I'm not coping at the moment. And it's so bad because the people who we can't see that I'm struggling. How much I am emotionally empty. I don't know if it's because I have anxiety and low mood. I'm in a house full of people and I've never felt so alone. I've got a massive family around me, supportive friend. And I feel so empty at the moment. Like I can't control how I feel. It's horrible. I couldn't even tell you why I'm feeling like this. I've got all the support in the world. But at the moment, I just... I feel like I can't cope with my own emotions. I have tried to be brave for way too long. And I've put this happy face and strong face on. And I guess people believe it because it's such a good face to have on. <sighs> I guess I never thought this would happen to me. You know, in my life I've been through so much shit and um, I've always dealt with it, I've always got up from it, I've always built myself back up, but this is one time that I can't and I am struggling to stay strong. Because I want my children to see the strong person that I can be, and I know that I am. But I, I think reality started to sink in. I, I never thought that this would happen to me and my family. But it has. I'm glad that it happened to me with someone who's called quite strong but even I have my limits and I have my tolerance to pain and upset and just basic bullshit and I think that I've had enough bullshit in my life to last a lifetime Probably the last place to have a rant and a cry is on YouTube. But I promised you that I'd show you the ins and outs of cancer. So welcome to the uh, the downs of it. The days where I struggle. And normally I don't show my tears on uh, these blogs, but... It's just horrible. It's a horrible feeling. Like it's just horrible feeling empty and alone and just downright sad. I get that there's going to be days like this, 
They get this is gonna be lovely days. Days where you can't cope and your emotions take over. But today has just been one emotional hurdle that I've tried to take over and get over and be strong in front of my family and friends. And I guess tonight it's just toppled me over. And it's just dragged me down. I am initially a strong person. <sighs> but even strong people have their limits. Strong people have times where they're brought to their knees. A happy mask can only stay for a few, a few strong days, and then it topples. I guess the more I'm trying to fight this cancer, the more it's destroying my personality. I see people in this world that take their lives for granted and I hate it because I do love my life I love my family I love my children I love my partner God I love my animals more than some people love their children and there's people out there that couldn't give two fucks about their life And then there's me, who is emotionally trying to beat cancer, who's shitting herself for the treatment that's about to start, who won't get to see any of the summer holidays with my children. I get two weeks of it with my children, and then I basically don't see them. Day in, day out, I'm going to be in hospital. I'll see them properly two days a week. On them two days, I'm probably going to be in bed. So, if people think I'm being stupid now crying, put yourself in my situation for a few seconds. I am scared. I am emotionally drained from trying to show people that I'm strong I've been through enough bullshit in my life and my personality should have been long gone by now but I guess I'm a lot stronger than I realised but even now it's taken its toll on me I'm in constant pain constantly dizzy and dopey from the painkillers constantly want to be able to go out and play and be happy with my children I can't even walk properly I don't know what else I can say this vlog isn't going to get any better today the way it is days like this I'm going to take myself off for a bath and go to bed I can't even be asked having tea I can't even uh, be asked to eat it I just just want to go to bed and go to sleep I wish that I wake up tomorrow feeling a bit stronger Hopefully I will. Hopefully I wake and I feel a little more stronger and I don't know. Wish me luck, eh?